Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about some of the best luxury products for spring, specifically lips and cheeks. I thought we could do a capsule focusing on a lip and cheek pairing. These are going to be some new, some old products, you have most of these or half of these at home. So it's a good way to reflect on what you have and see what you can combine together for some beautiful looks. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. I did a capsule like this for the fall where it was like fall lip and cheek combinations. You guys really enjoyed it. So I thought let's do one for a spring. It's March, the weather's getting a little bit lighter and fresher, feels a bit breezier, so that's what we're focusing on. So everything that I'm mentioning, all the brushes that I'll be using to apply the products, it's all listed down below. So the first product here I'm going to talk about is an oldie. This is the Westman Atelier Blush Stick, and this is the shade Mignette. So it's a cream stick like this, and I know it looks very orange in the tube here, and this is the blush twisted all the way up. I've used a lot of this blush here. I really love it. And it looks almost like a fresh, it looks very orange here. It looks very vibrant. However, when I apply it on the cheek, it really mellows out and looks almost more pink. And I'm going to pair it with one of my new Chanel uh, Nuit Blanche lipsticks. This is the shade number seven. Seven on me is like this beautiful, fresh, peachy pink so pretty i love the packaging packaging is very fresh this is what the wand looks like so that's what these look like here let's go ahead and apply these using a refer 24 brush i'm just going to pick up some of the blush here on the back of my hand and apply it i like to use a cream contour stick like this i don't like to just rub the stick on my face directly. I like to tap it on like this. Next is the lipstick. This first look here is very light, very fresh. The Westman Atelier blush sticks, I think are very underrated. Because it's a blush stick, it has that luminosity. This is just some foundation and concealer. There's no highlighter, it's just this blush here. So it's going to give you a little bit of that glow. So if you're looking for like a two-in-one blush and highlighter, this blush stick is the way to go. This look is giving very, very light, very fresh, very springy. It's coral without being too orange or too pink. It's just really perfect. This was the first look I thought of when I thought of like a spring version of this lip and cheek combination. Let's keep moving. Next up is something more rosewood. So I'm going into the Dior Backstage uh, Rosy Glow Blush in the shade Rosewood. So this here is absolutely gorgeous, but these blushes have a sort of adaptive quality to them. So. The swatch on the back of my hand may not look that impressive, I agree, but there's something in the formula that adapts to your cheek and it sort of enhances your natural flush in that hue. And then we're going to pair this with the new Guerlain Kiss Kiss B Glow Lip Oil in the shade 309 Honey Nude. And these two are going to create a beautiful rosewood nudie combination here. So this is a lip oil. However, it has a lot of tint. I find that this does in fact stain the lips, especially when you just keep reapplying during the day. You do get a nice stain on your lips at the end of the day. And as you can tell, I truly love this lip oil. And I have to say that I think 2024 is the year of lip oil and blue eyeshadow. I think you're going to see even more lip oil on the market and I think blue eyeshadow as well. So let's keep it moving. I'll go ahead and use this BK Beauty 107 brush here and use this beautiful blush here. I'll just start off lightly because this does build quickly and I'd rather add blush than remove it. Moving on to the lip oil. They do have several shades of this, but 
the honey color is my favorite. This combination is giving rosewood neutral nudie, a hint of like a pinky brown. I guess that's what, that's what a rosewood is. It's giving my lips and my cheeks, but better in a very elevated way. It's still very natural, but different. It's less, less peachy and less coral than before, but still a very, very pretty combination here. I love, I love the Guernet lip oil. I love how full it makes my lips look. I love how lush they look, and this is a great blush too. Moving on to the next category, I would describe this as a slight warm champagne rose gold, and I'm going to use the Chanel Les Beige Healthy Glow Blush here that came out for the winter collection. This one here is called Rose Polar, so it's like a polar pink. This has the slightest warm, satin finish. It's, you know, I wouldn't call this a shift because it's definitely lighter and more buildable than some other Chanel blushes. But if you can see, there's a very, very slight radiance there. It's very beautiful, very soft. I love it. And some of these you could mix and match with other items that I'm mentioning today. And I think that this pairs beautifully with the Dior Lip Maximizer. This is the shade 67. And this is a shimmery champagne rose gold. The shade itself is called Golden Pink. And you can see it from the packaging here. And this one here, again, is going to be a glossy lip it's a lip maximizer, so it is a lip plumping product at the same time. You can use these on their own with a lip liner, with a lipstick. I usually just like to use them on their own. Going into the travel size of the BK Beauty 107 brush, just going to apply this. I know some people didn't love the blush formula for the Le Beige. The only thing is it's soft and buildable. I didn't mind that. It's just good to keep that in mind if you do get it. So it's good to just swirl and pick up. And there's just the slightest shift. It's really subtle, it's very soft, it's very luminous, it's very natural. And I quite like it. Going into the Lip Maximizer. Now, some of these have a lot more color than others. Some of them are more sheer. It really depends on which one you pick, but I love the ro rose gold effect that this gives. Again, there is no highlighter here. It's just this blush that's giving that very soft, subtle luminosity. So the reason I paired these two together is because this is pink and there is a soft whisper of a warm gold underneath it that's giving it that beautiful luminosity. And this here is that warm gold champagne with some pink in here. So these two pair together, again, give a light, fresh, more pinky, warm champagne look. I like these types of hues for spring. It's giving life, it's giving you know light at the end of the winter tunnel. That's why I'm going into a lot of these lighter, fresher, more ethereal looks, but we do have some more here. Okay, next up is a pairing that you may think of as a little bit unconventional. Listen, listen, listen. I know what I'm talking about. You have seen these products here. You've trusted me so far. So let me lure you into the appeal of a blue lip gloss. I know. Listen, when I saw this, I was highly skeptical as well, but there's something about this lip gloss that gives almost like a lavender haze. So it's very cool toned, but it's extremely wearable. And I'm going to pair this with the new Guerlain Terracotta blush in the shade 01 Light Pink. So this is a beautiful light pink. It's adaptive to the skin. It's very buildable, it's very light. It's your cheek, but better. But it has a beautiful light pink blue plum undertone. I know that doesn't sound good, no trust me, it works. It's slightly blue, it doesn't look blue like this, but something about the combination does work 
really well together. And so I'll show you this in a second. And both of these products are adaptable. This on my lips turns into that lilac lavender hue. And this blush here, there's something almost plummy blue based in it that just works really well. Going into my Chanel blush brush here, I'm just going to, I'm going to build this up a little bit because I do find that this is a very natural blush that does take a minute just to build up a little. Honestly, I don't mind that because like I stated, it's easier to add blush than it is to remove. And this blush here, it doesn't have gl a glitter or anything like that, but it is luminous and the longer it stays on the cheek, the prettier it gets. There's something so natural about this blush. It's like a natural flush in such a pretty way. Going into our Icy Blue Dior Lip Maximizer. That's what it's called, Icy Blue. As you can tell, this lip gloss does not look like my nail polish here, or it does not look as close to this blue in the tube. It has a sort of adaptive lilac um, quality to it, which I think is very nice. Again, it's very festive for you know spring, for florals, lilac hues, it's very pretty. And pairing it with this blush here, there's just something in the blush and the lip gloss that just work really pretty together and i know a few of you did pick up this beautiful icy blue lip maximizer so might i suggest pairing it with the light pink blush okay the last category has a bit more punch it's a little bit more plummy it's a classic traditional lipstick it has more color to it a bit more oomph it's giving like a cool toned plum but lightened for spring. Like not like a dark, dramatic look, but something really pretty. And I'm going to use this beautiful cream blush from MAC. Remember MAC, MAC Cosmetics? This is the, their cream blush. It's called the Glow Play Blush, and the shade is called Rosy Does It. You can actually squish it if you want to. It's kind of fun. It's like a little fidget spinner here. And it's very light, even though it's like a, a cream product. You can shear it out. It's a beautiful plum here. You can shear it out or build it up. It feels silky on the skin and to the touch. And then I'm, mix I'm pairing it here with the Dior uh, Rouge lipsticks. This is the shade 625 Mitza. And this is so creamy, so velvety. This is the new formula that just came out. Mm, so pretty. Using the Refer 37, this is a cream blush brush. So I'm just going to pick up, I'm just gonna start off with a little bit because this one here is a little bit more intense and it's a cream and I find cream blushes often just have more color payoff. Next, we're going into this beautiful velvet finish lipstick here. I think I would describe this pairing as a softened, muted velvet plum. The plum is there, but it's not like the deep, rich berries that we go to in the fall. This is a lighter, fresher, more spring-like take. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this capsule. I hope you enjoyed this recap of some of the products you own at home and how to mix and match them together. Leave a vote in the comment section. Let me know which pairing was your favorite. There's no wrong answer, just a question of taste. I mean, I put all of these together. These are items that I wear here on my channel and also just in my real life. So vote in the comment section down below which lip and cheek pairing was your favorite. And let me know if you wanna see more of these like capsules for a spring makeup, for you know, fresh ideas for how to use up what you have at home. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you should definitely do that because I do a lot of reviews, a lot of tutorials, and I like to mix and match new and old collections. So I'll help you figure out how to use up your collection at home without having to buy everything new. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping. Bye. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.